Would you like more tea, Mabel? And what about you, Cyrus? Hey everyone, and welcome to Bringing Smart Back. So it's springtime, and do you know what one of my favorite things to do is? Well, especially during the spring, is have a tea party. I've been having and hosting tea parties since I was really little. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can have your very own tea party. Did you know that one of the most famous tea parties in history is the Boston Tea Party? But it wasn't really a tea party at all. It was a group of men who called themselves the Sons of Liberty. And they went to the Boston Harbor where a boat had tons of crates of British tea in it. And they pushed those crates out into the water because Britain was putting too much tax on America and too much tax on tea. The first thing you need to do when you're getting ready for your tea party is to invite your guest. Although your stuffed animals and your pets make really good guests, the best people to have at your tea party is your brothers or your sisters, your mom, your dad, and your friends. So you need to give them an invitation. When you're writing your invitation, you need to make sure that you say their name and make sure that they know that you're inviting them to a tea party, the day of the par tea party, the location of the tea party, and the time of the tea party. Now, we have a printable invitation on our website, or you can make your own. And while you're making yours, you might be wondering about the location. There are tons of great places to have a tea party. You can have them inside or outside, on the grass, or you can pack a picnic and have a tea party at the park. It's completely up to you. The most important part of a tea party is the tea. Did you know that tea was invented in 3727 BC in China? And today, there are over 3,000 different flavors of tea. Tea is a beverage that is drank the most in the world. Well, besides water. So next time you're at the grocery store, you should ask your parents if you could try a new flavor of tea that you've never had before. Also, you should take a peek down the tea aisle and see all the different flavors. For your tea party, you can choose to have hot tea or cold tea. Another important part of the tea party are the snacks. Now, the snacks don't have to be fancy. When I have a tea party, I usually like to have fresh fruits like strawberries or grapes, fresh vegetables like baby carrots, and sometimes I'll put some peanut butter on crackers. Simple snacks are the best. But if you want to be fancy like the Queen of England, you could ask your parents to help you bake some sugar cookies. There are some fun and easy tea time snack recipes on our website. One fun part about tea parties, and one of my favorite parts about tea parties, are the outfits. Now, the outfits aren't required, but they're a ton of fun. So here are some of the best things to wear for a tea party. For girls, a hat and gloves, a scarf, a necklace, a headband, a bow, and a tea dress. And for boys, a hat and a bow tie is perfect. But remember, you can always come in your favorite costume, like a fairy or a pirate, a cowboy or a princess. Anything you want to wear is fine. If you want to make your tea party extra special, you can add some poetry. You can read your favorite poem or read a page or two from your favorite book. I never saw a purple cow, and I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. Do you know what I love most about tea parties? I love that tea parties are for everyone, for boys and girls, little kids and grown-ups. Everyone can have fun at a tea party. And now that your tea party planning is almost done, you might be wondering about a tea set. If you don't have a tea set, that's perfectly fine. Any cups or plates will do. And next time you're at a thrift store or a yard sale, you could look for teacups and teapots. They don't have to be the same color or the same pattern. And if you want your tea party to be super fun, you can do it in a funny accent. When me and my mom have a tea party, we like to have a British accent or a Southern accent. Did you know that royalty in England has been having tea every day since 1662? That is a lot of tea. I have a tea joke for you. What is your favorite type of tea? My favorite type of tea is Curiosa tea. <laughs> Just kidding. My favorite type of tea is honey and lemon tea. If you want a printable invitation, some fun and easy tea time recipes, tea time activities, and more, you can visit our website, 
and the lesson plan, which is linked down in the description below, or you can go to www.brainsmartback.com. Thank you so much for joining me for tea today. I hope you get to have your very own tea party very soon. And if you do and post a picture about it, you can tag at Bringing Smartback on every social media. Also, you should look at our Pinterest board on tea parties. The link for that is also down in the description below. Ta-ta for now!